My name is JT, and this is a story about how I built my homestead. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JT Time. JT here. I am back at the house today. It's a uh, it's Friday, and uh, I don't know how long today is going to be, and the reason why is because I'm waiting for the electrician uh, from the city to come and tie my main panel uh, in to their system. Uh, so essentially at, this, at the project site, we have, I'll show you. We have a temporary pole that is more or less where we have our power for the, I guess, contractors to come in and tie in and pretty much use. And then we have this meter right here, uh, which is not tied in yet. I kind of showed it to you earlier when I was working on the roof. Um, so that's where the actual meter is at. So they're going to tie that in to the grid, essentially. And um, hopefully that happens sometime today, depending on... It, it's, it's scheduled for today, but they don't tell me a time slot. So I kind of... I'm at their mercy. Uh, so... I'll mainly be working on the inside of the house. I originally wanted to tape everything on the house and get it ready for me to spray the paint on the hardy boards, but I looked at the forecast and it's kind of questionable. It says it's gonna be rainy for the next six days, so Southeast Texas weather. It's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let me look at the forecast again and let me see where I get today. And if I have time, then I may just end up taping up some stuff that I know uh, won't have too many issues with a little bit of wetness, um, like the windows and stuff. But there's definitely some, like the soffits and stuff, I, I just can't, I can't tape that up until I'm ready to almost paint the house. So that may be for a future time. But let me go to the inside of the house and update y'all on what I want to do there. So we're inside the house now and I do have the stuff that I need this time around. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this vent uh, hopefully today and um, I also want to do the fire block so if I have time I'm gonna work on that as well and then uh, we'll see where I'm at I'll, I'll give you all kind of an update on what I might do later uh, but for now I have this right here which is for uh, my daughter we got it from a neighbor it, it was for free and they just had it out so we went ahead and picked it up and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble it real quick. Uh, it's definitely used, but uh, I could probably make it pretty nice depending on how much time I have once we're over here already. But for now, let me just go ahead and put it together so whenever my wife and daughter come and visit, they can use this. All right, see y'all real soon. Six minutes guys that's all it took so <laughs> it's nice it has a little rock climbing area right here where my daughter can climb up I mean it, it's overall it's really not bad and for free it's amazing I could probably jazz it up a little bit and make it a little bit better um, but for now this this works really really well and for her age she's less than two right now so I think she'll uh, I think she'll really enjoy that for sure. So we'll see. Maybe she'll be here later today to, to play with it. But other than that, it's kind of, it's a nice little play center for her to, to enjoy, especially when I'm barbecuing or something, right? <laughs> so let me go ahead and get the stuff for the inside of the house and uh, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit, all right? All right, guys, so we're back here in the attic. I had a few delays, um, which caused me to take a little longer to get up here, but um, I was meeting with my uh, a different few contractors that I was thinking about outsourcing some work to. I uh, oh, sorry about that. I don't know why my camera just went out, but what I was saying was there's a balancing act that happens when you do a lot of this work, and and 
especially for me, uh, it, there's, uh, since I'm doing this kind of on the side, a lot of it is, and, and not my full-time job, a lot of it is a balance act between, okay, how much time am I willing to put in versus just paying somebody else to do it for me. So um, a lot of that, there's a lot of factors that go into it, and, but at the end of the day, it's a combination of, okay, how much money do I want to spend on something versus how much, um, <clears throat> how much or how important it is for me to spend uh, my time elsewhere. So back to what we're doing today. So this is, I got the crimper. So this is what the crimper looks like right here. Um, sorry if it's a little dark. It's uh, rainy outside. So I'll be in the house for the most part today. Um, but this is the crimper. And what I've, what I've been told or what I've read so far is you want to make it, yeah, we want to think about your airflow in general. So my airflow, if you watch, if you look at this, it's going to go through here, up, and then continue on. So you want these lips to be such that as the air flows, it's not going to be exiting through the lips. So in other words, do I want to go put this inside of here or have it, have it be on the outside like this? Now, if I had it outside like this where this top part right here, I don't know if y'all can see it, but this top part right here was um, inside of this, then as the air blows, if I didn't seal this off properly, it could actually fly into the attic and I don't want that, right? So I actually want it to be this way. So the way I'm gonna get it to fit in this way is I'm going to crimp this guy. So let's go ahead and start crimping this guy and see what happens. So, so, <clears throat> I saw a few videos. Uh, they usually start at the seam. So this is where the seam is at right here. You don't crimp over the seam. You just crimp kind of next to it. So I'm going to crimp right here. There we go. And then you want one of the blades to overlap the last previous crimp. So I'm just going to keep going like that. Crimp here. And this is already crimped, but it's just not crimped enough. All right. There we go. So that's that. Put this whole way. Let's see if it works. I hope it works. <laughs> All right, there we go. And then I'm just gonna slide it in right here. Normally it'll fit in really good, really easy, but this one's already crimped, so it, this one's gonna be a little bit tough to fit in uh, properly. Uh. All right, there we go. All right. So that's pretty good right there. It could be better, of course. <clears throat> but, you know, that'll, I guess that'll do. So, if you look inside, I don't know if you have to see inside, but that's pretty much it right there. So I do have screws. And I'm going to screw in to hold this thing in place. Man, that's not, that's not pretty at all. I almost feel like, all right, never mind. Change the game plan. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go ahead and do this because this will seal a lot better. And we're just going to go the opposite direction, which isn't ideal, but it's just this barely fits in it, guys. See, it barely fits. And I don't like that. It should, it should go all the way down here. So because it's not going all the way down there, I'd rather this fit flush and then I just tape it with mastic than for me to, um, for me to have to have to deal with different problems, ceiling problems. So I'm going to go ahead and crimp this side and then I'll rotate this around and that's fine. I didn't waste my effort here because this is just going to go right into the uh, the straight piece anyways, so I'm just gonna go here and start crimping this guy All right, so this is pretty boring so I'm gonna go ahead and Stop the video and I'll catch you guys up once I'm done. All right guys, so moment of truth. Let's see if I crimped it. All right Slide this in. Oh, look at that. That's very nice. So that'll give me a much better seal and I can 
This is easier to tape up. This is either easier to mastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. I, I, I prefer that much better than what I was previously doing. It's raining pretty hard outside, guys. So I'm definitely, definitely working inside the house today. Um, so let me go ahead and I got these, these screws right here, zip, zip and screws. They're uh, pierce, self-piercing sheet metal screws. So I'm just gonna hit in four, two to four screws to kind of get it into place and let it hold. And then after that, I'm just gonna mastic and that's gonna be good for now, or not mastic yet, but I'm going to uh, pretty much get the next piece in and that should be done for this duct work for now at least. So let's go ahead and get this guy in. That's pretty nice right there. That's pretty good right there. I think I'm only gonna do two because it's uh because I can't really reach right here. So the two is fine, it's it's pretty solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. And uh, I'll catch up with you here in a little bit. Let me go ahead and figure out the length of this and uh, we'll we'll cut to the next project. Best step. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like. Finished product. I am uh, I screwed in two screws up here. I could do more if I wanted to, but I'm not. Uh, I did four screws here, um, and I did four screws here as well. Um, I thought about it, I was like, I could mastic this if I really wanted to, but I think for the purpose of what this is and the fact that the baffle is down here um, for the backdraft adapter, um, it's kind of, I'll show you. Yeah, you see, I put it down here instead. Um, I, I, uh, I think I'm just going to mask certain parts of it. You see how this part is kind of bowing a little bit right here? I'm just going to seal this off with flex tape or duct tape. Is the actual word, ignore flex tape. I don't know where I got that. Um, duct tape. So I'm just going to wrap it a few times with duct tape and seal it with that uh, just because there's these big gaps here and I don't, I can't. Mastic's not gonna seal that. Um, I will mastic this top part. I'm gonna do all of it. So I'm gonna seal every single crease. So I'm gonna seal here, these edges here as well. And then this very top part, I'm gonna mastic all that um, just so that's sealed. But this bottom part, man, I really do wanna mastic it, but it's tricky because man, it's just, there's this big gap right here. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me, maybe if I screw another screw in here, right here. Nah, it doesn't really work very much. Um, yeah, I'll just screw a few more screws in here and maybe that'll give me enough of a cre uh, enough of a seal here that I can easily mastic over it. But this gap right now, the way it is, it's too, it's too big to do that. So let me run those screws. I'm gonna go run to my shed to pick up the mastic and then I'll meet you back here, all right? All right, guys, so I'm done with this. I uh, pretty much, I don't think this is called mastic. I think this stuff is called, let's take a look real quick. It is called water-based duct sealant, FCO181. So yeah, this is like a sealant pretty much for ducts. So let's go and push this in real quick to go ahead and engage that. Yep, there we go. Uh, I think this top part needs to go in a little bit more. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right. So that's good there. Um, so that's in. That's pretty much engaged. This is all set pretty much. Um, I'm not going to put the duct tape on yet until this is all dried out and uh, ready for me to stick tape on it. Um, honestly, I probably don't even need to stick tape on this. I think it's ready to go as is. So I may not, I may not tape it since this is all sealed with that sealant that's there. But um, let me go ahead and pack up all this stuff and then we can head downstairs to where I'll be cutting off the fire blocking that 
my frame burst put on since I need to install baffles now. So I'll see y'all down there. See y'all real soon. Hey guys, welcome back. So, um, you know when you have one of those days where you're just, you don't want to do anything and you're just kind of tired? <laughs> well, that's one of those days for me right now. Um, I, it's like 1.30 right now and I, I feel like in terms of what I've done at the house is absolutely nothing. I've only done that one little vent there and that should have taken me like an hour to do. So I'm back at it. I tried my best to motivate myself to get going. I just, I think I just need to go and do it and then I can kind of get motivated to continue working. So let me try my best to do some work here on these fire blocks and uh, maybe after I get five knocked out, it'll really get me going and I'll actually start working a little harder. Uh, but otherwise, maybe an early day for me guys, but I'm kind of, I have to be over here uh, late today because they're supposed to be doing the, the city's supposed to be doing the electrical tying into the main power, like I was telling you earlier. Um, so hopefully they make it. They give me the timeline of the entire day. So unfortunately that's, a pretty wide range and I thought somebody was gonna come because I saw a center point truck drive by but he just drove off afterwards so I'm hoping that wasn't a misunderstanding or something but we'll see all right so let me go ahead and set up the camera <clears throat> I already kind of set up over here so I'm gonna set up right here and I got a few fire blocks right there So let's uh, let's see what I can get done, guys. Let's see what I can get done. I need to explain this only because I don't think you're ever gonna be doing anything like this but they nailed it in I'm just gonna it's like demo really so I'm just cutting it with a sawzall blade on the side and then I'm just prying it off really so it's just gonna be tedious work because the framers they nailed into the base and they also nailed into the sides so I have to cut all of those nails um, and at the same time, I don't want to mess up the roof sheathing as well, so I gotta be careful with that. So, um, I have some fun times ahead of me, guys. So, I'll just go ahead and up y'all, update y'all at the end on how much I get done, and uh, hopefully I can get done maybe 50% of the house. I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get this done, so we'll see. All right, see y'all real soon. Hey guys, so uh, JT back here. I am done for today, it's about uh, three o'clock now and the electricians or the city electricians still haven't come yet so I'm just gonna put out a sign and wish for the best uh, we're not really in need of the tie-in for the house since we already have the temporary power pole but it would be nice to have it done already because again you saw me I was waiting here all day for them to come so hopefully they'll uh, see my sign and they'll call me um, and I can give them the gate code but uh, otherwise, let me show you the progress. I did not get very much done at all. <laughs> I knocked out those two. I knocked out some of those right there as well. You'll see some that are still um, actually there and that's mainly because I couldn't take those out. They're, they're, the way they're nailed in place, they just won't come out pretty much. I knocked out all of these though, which is really, really nice. And I knocked out a few of these as well. Um, but overall, I... Uh, not too happy <laughs> in general with how much progress I made today. Uh, I wish I could have did more, but uh, my, my wife and daughter are here, so I'm going to go ahead and just end the episode. That way we can have some more family time. So uh, next time I'm here, I think I'll be working inside the house again. I'll just keep knocking out more or less this, uh, 
this stuff here. And uh, part of the reason why I just didn't get a lot done today is because I have a lot happening uh, for my day job, and, and that's keeping me really, really busy this episode. So um, hopefully I'll have better stuff for you next time. But otherwise, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching again, and uh, I'll see you all real soon. Here on JT Time.